Infertility is defined as not being able to get pregnant despite having frequent unprotected sex for at least a year for most couples. Infertility may result from an issue from one partner or a combination of factors that prevent pregnancy. Let's say a couple has been married for about four years but they don't have any children yet. The wife is usually automatically blamed for being the problem. It has to be the woman's fault. But many couples actually face infertility issues and while either partner could actually have the infertility problem, I'm here to tell you the facts about male infertility. Male infertility is when a couple is unable to conceive after trying for at least one year with frequent unprotected sex due to a reason that is solely traceable to the male partner. Men are thought to be responsible for solely 30% of infertility and may actually contribute to up to 50% of all cases of infertility. A study done at Nordica Fertility Center showed that about 19% of the over 500 Nigerian men studied had no sperm cells. A man can test whether or not he is infertile by having an evaluation, which includes answering questions about life history and running a semen analysis. This is then reviewed by the fertility expert and his fertility status is determined. This is what we call the basic male fertility test. Further assessment might be needed and is on a case-by-case -case basis. Unfortunately, in Nigeria, there is some stigma surrounding infertility in general, and this makes it more difficult for couples to talk about infertility with each other and with their family and friends. And not having these important conversations leads to further delay in conception and diagnosis and may eventually affect the outcome of assisted conception treatments as age is a key factor in success rates. We know that Nollywood has shown us too often where a couple hasn't had children yet and a new wife is born into the home. But in reality, the new wife might not get pregnant from the man either. Depending on the particular nature of the male factor following evaluation, the treatment is then planned. Sperm boosting drugs like we see advertised regularly on Instagram have not been shown to actually be effective. Male infertility may rather be helped significantly by assisted conception techniques like in vitro fertilization treatments. Prevention, they say, is better than cure. Lifestyle adjustment where necessary can prevent male infertility. Avoiding or limiting intake of alcohol, avoiding smoking of cigarettes or the use of illicit drugs, practicing safe sex to prevent sexually transmitted infections, eating healthy food, exercising moderately, and managing your stress levels are all helpful tips. So now that you know our COVID lockdown has been eased, please, you guys that are going out to be careful. Be careful. So thank you to Nordica Lagos for their support. And of course, be sure to watch more Gatefield TV content. You're definitely gonna love it. Peace out.